Boom! Hello! Welcome to my tube, my tiny little light bright tube. <laughs> Somebody made a comment the other day, Oh, I cannot look at the lights in your video. Vomit emoji. I said, then don't. Then don't. Don't look at it, by all means. I wouldn't be able to watch a video with that had these lights in the background of it. <laughs> well, most of the time, I don't watch videos. I put my phone in my pocket, and I go on about my day and do my chores and my due diligence and whatnot. So, I don't... Anyway. Did I say it? Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a Hayoka empath. I just like having these little talks on the way I feel about things. Things are just getting crazy. I, I've been, like, getting glimpses of recall memories of when... Because before, I, the cell phone and the computer didn't exist like it did when I was growing up. And I have always had a really remarkable imagination. <laughs> So I didn't really have much need for it, you know. And um, I think it's just interesting. You know, they say, oh, technology's going to bring people together. No. No, all they do, all they want to do is strive to do is to divide people. Is to create division. And, well, it's been working. It's been working. Yeah, every time I get a news article, I don't like notifications on my phone. I don't want to know unless I'm going out into the world to inquire. I don't know. I don't want people bringing nothing to my front doorstep, you know? Like, as far as so I turn all my notifications off, but so, uh, something, one of them popped through. And it's just nonsense. It's just, it's just crazy. And it's, it's getting crazier. I mean, we're at a point in time... I mean, every time, how many people, it does it strike a nerve, you know, they're playing us, they're playing us, they're playing on our fears, they're playing on our, our, our emotions, those of us that have them, because Lord knows the people that are playing this nonsense, this game with people's lives, they have no emotions, they have no feelings, they have, it's all been replaced by ego and desire and corruption and lust and vulgarity and it's been building up for years and years and they let so many people in their club the club got so big you know finally the rest of society is going like wait a minute you know why do you keep you know like <laughs> people in America can't get a lot of people in the rural communities in the small communities in the small place towns you know I don't know, maybe what it's like that in the big cities still. I don't live in a big city anymore. But I know that people can't get just, like, basic needs. You know, so every time I see another billions and trillions and gazillions that are going to another country that, you know, supporting something we have no business being involved in, why people here don't get what they need, you know? It's just, you know, oh, it's just so, it's unfair, it's unfair, it's unfair. You know, and then people get mad because it's unfair, and then what they they drink because it makes them feel better. They eat, so I I've been trying not to lift weights too much because <laughs> I can get obsessive about things. So it's all about balance. And so when I went to the VA clinic, it's amazing. I guess I should just be grateful that I got in because evidently I heard a story about another army woman. She's a woman army veteran. She's fighting her third bout of cancer and um, and she can't get in at the clinic here like they keep telling her go down to Albuquerque go down to it's all Albu you know it's like what do you people do here just you know you're I know you're all getting paychecks still it's just also outdated and they won't relinquish control so people are I guess they'll just have to die off and turnover is gonna happen some way or another it's gonna it's how turnover happens so Anyway, when I went there, they said, oh, well, you haven't had a pap smear and whatever, you know, I don't freaking, I, all that stuff. I don't d think about that. You know, I'm healthy. That's all that matters. 
is for the most part I'm healthy. All my freaking damage is like nerve damage and structural damage. It's uh, but anyway, um, I got bad feet. I got mom's bad feet. So they're like, well, you got to get one of these female, you know, um, we can refer to you to a clinic. Okay, do whatever, whatever, you know, just, just whatever. Tell me where I need to be and when I need to be there, right? Kind of thing. So they called, they called last week and I called back and nobody answered the phone. And I let it ring like 15 times. No answer machine, nothing. No person. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock. It's just, and it's just like, it's like, I'll try stuff because maybe the system has become efficient. Maybe, maybe all of a sudden people have found their, their self-respect and, and have their, you know, work ethic and all of a sudden came in to freaking be, so, so I'll always try, I'll always try. So I try. So, you know, they give me the number, I call the number. Nobody answers the number. So they, again, today they, they call the number. They give me the number, I call the number. Somebody answered today. And they said, oh, we're down, I said, where are you? I said, we're down in Albuquerque. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to Albuquerque, it's out of the question. It's not even an option for me. So if there's a box that says that, check it for me. How many female veterans do you deal with in this state? There's no, they're not that many. I know, there's not. And see, mo and see, that's the thing is the system's so broken. People I, like I don't, I will not. I'll just go without. I'll just stay healthy. <laughs> I'll just circumvent your stupid freaking because it's all for to get people paid, sitting in a chair, collecting a paycheck, and the help never goes to us freaking veterans. And I know. See, I am proficient in human computer interface, in systems. So I call. I, I that all he's just. I, I'm. 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 It's what I've done. I've my whole life. I've, I pick up on patterns, what works, what do, doesn't work. You know, personalities that work should work here, and should, ones that are more effective. All of it. And uh, so they left the number. I call back. They said, "Oh, we're in Albuquerque." I said, "That's not an option for me." All right. Well, we can we can outsource you to the community, whatever. Here's Karen's number. All right. Karen's number. Give me the number. I just call it. Call it? This number does not accept outside phone calls. I'm like, oh, my God. They're giving away a number that doesn't work. It's just, it's, this is how, I'm like, so I call back to let them know. I call back just, because that's what I, because most people would just leave it and just be like, F it, you know. But I'm going to let them know. How broke, in which way their system is broken. So I call back and they always record. So I'm a perfect training opportunity. I'm a wonderful training opportunity. I let people use me for training all the time. So, so I call back and I'm like, you know what? I said, this is what happened. I got a call, phone call from your office about 20 minutes ago. They gave me this woman's number. I call it, and it doesn't accept out. Your system is broken. You need to tell your boss, whoever your boss is, is that your whole system is failing. I'm not an idiot. I'm not just your high school freaking, I did 20 years, never did nothing else except did what I was told, you know. I, no. No. I wasn't an idiot when I went in the military when I was 25. And I sure and I I came out that much smart because it's all a club. It's and it's not the smart people running it. Maybe at one point it was, but it evolved into the freaking the one that he that has the most desire for Viagra. Yeah. Yeah. And they did it. They evolved into that. Not me. I'm just speaking what they evolved it. In 2017, they spent $11 million on male enhancement drugs? Really? These are the priorities of these divided states of America? Because that's the stuff that they can come together, you know? It's the whole storyline. The storyline that they have perpetuated generation after generation. Serve your country. Do your duty. Isn't it funny? It, it should be duty. D-O-O-T-I-E. Like dog duty. Do your duty. That's what I said. Do you mean duty or duty? 
I used to get funny with my words and freaking get, you know, <laughs> get talking to. This is your freaking military. It ain't mine. I'm just borrowing it to get a college education, you know. But that's all right because, you know, so much. So it just depends on who's sitting in the chair in some big chair in some house, someplace, you know. It's always on vacation all the time. They can just erase student debt, like... I, and I'll never get the six years back of my life and all the people I was a part of freaking causing harm to and countries I, we had no business being in just so rich people could get richer. Yeah. Things are going to get funky crazy because the storylines are converging. Because when more and more and more people start focusing and looking at something, that's the reality. Their perception, it becomes reality. <laughs> it's kind of how collective consciousness works, you know, good of the whole kind of stuff. Well, we've all the good of everybody's good has all got us into a big old hole. Now people got to dig themselves out, and nobody knows how to do no work. So now you know, and people, it's like I mean, I, I've worked my whole entire life. I still work, or like I mean, I work just to keep my energy level at a freaking. Manageable operating system measure just because I'm always Voo. a lot of it's those eight anthrax vaccines that they gave me. I didn't I didn't think I had a choice. I would have said no if I if I would have thought I had a choice. Just doing what I was told. So I got a call back from that office. I'm not. I just delete. I I'm done. I'm done. I I even said I said if something is seriously wrong with me. It will just be my time because I will not use your medical facilities because you people are completely inept. They are. They're inept. They got to get people to fill seats. It's just warm bodies. It doesn't mean that they know they know what they're doing. You know? It's all to employ people. It's all to freaking keep their buddies getting a paycheck. But nobody does anything. And, and so what are our alternatives? I, you know, a lot of people are going to get violent and get mad and act out, and that's not my way. I'm not going to have a whole life, you know, like all these police shows and, and forensic shows, all these shows I ever watch, and they, 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 they read off the, the, the rap sheet of the perp, you know, and it always escalates. Like the it, go, it starts with the speeding tickets. Well, that's ego. They're out of control, you know, and then it, it escalates, and then they start, oh, I want to steal a car because it's mine. I don't care. You know, that's single moms trying to get to work. Fuck them. It's, what do I want to do? It's all that ego stuff. It's not living from spirit. And then it escalates, you know. And, and yeah, violence oftentimes becomes a part of that, right? I'm not, I don't want none of that stuff. Because all that stuff is just more statistics and demographics and, 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 and data in which people are just waiting for me to be a part of. Because I grew up in poverty. We grew up looking up at the poverty line. Like we grew up on welfare, you know, Medi-Cal, people looking down on us, you know, just because we didn't have as much as them. Well, excuse me, it wasn't because I asked for less. You know what I mean? I mean, so I've been looking at the, the character of people's hearts my whole entire life. I've been looking at the, all people's hearts, seeing where they're coming from. And do they mean it? And what are they hiding? It's my Scorpio moon just what I pick up on you know and when people are always oh so good I know that there's shadow in there and if it hadn't come out it's gonna come out some way some kind of way sideways it does and we're seeing it all over the place man egos are just self-will is just running right you know how you can tell notice look just when you're out driving to the market or whatever notice how many cars are up on tow trucks that's ego. People gunning it. People, oh, oh, oh. You know? Learning those life lessons. That's how I've learned every life lesson. I've, I, every mistake I've ever made. Every growing moment was, was, was freaking always brutally painful. Always. And it's a true fact, man. People don't get to ascend unless you have very, unless you freaking have freaking 
painful events happen. You don't get to evolve with, without pain. You don't get to. You can live a very comfortable life, but you're not evolving. You're starting, you're ending up pretty much in the same state that you started out in. Eh, we're supposed to be having all the experiences. All of them. But the deck has been stacked, so the, the, the playing field has not been level. And Well, truth always comes out, so... There's a lot of lies, you know, that have been covered up for decades and centuries. And that's, that's, that's a big wave. That's a big wave of truth coming. A lot of people aren't ready for it. It's, you'd be surprised how fragile people's psyches are. You'd be, su you'd be surprised. Like, what well, I've seen people dissolve. Their, their, their freaking just melt right in front of and Just never the same ever again. That's the thing. That's the switch. Then I've seen a lot of people that just have endured, just freaking rolled with the punches, and just... It's just, it's whatever your incarnation is supposed to be, so... Evidently, Tuck, you want up here? Oh, you got her? Evidently, Kate Key Jin's channel's gone. Somebody came and wrote a comment about it. And I just saw it, like, because I'll check in every few weeks. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I haven't seen anything of hers. I'll go look. It's all right, baby talk. And, uh, and because this gal said something, I went and looked, and no, there's nothing. There's, it's nothing. That's the end of a timeline. Maybe a new one will start. Who knows? But we had our, our time. Our, uh, we were on each other's radar for a minute. And then people just, you know, kind of go on in their path, their trajectory, and either they're going to keep coinciding. And I just, I dipped out because I ain't into, I know what the, how the grossness is and all the, what the world is. And I know, I, and I'm not going to sit and perpetuate in it. And I appreciate what she did to help people realize what's going on in a lot of areas. And a lot of stuff, it's just, I mean, I believe in an all things possible multi-universe. And, and yeah, sure. You know, it's just not the world I'm living in now. Or it's not even, it's not a part of the world I'm trying to create. In either way you look at it, so. Getting a lot of rain yesterday. We got so much rain. I think I might have to take Benny to the vet, like, the long way through town in the morning. Come here, Todd. No, he wants to sit by you. He's got, because, uh, I think the road, the back way at Blueberry Hill is washed out. I should drive up and look. I'm probably not gonna. Anyway, there's other back roads. <laughs> it's one benefit about living in small towns, man. There's always a sa back road you can take. Learned that from Grandpa. Anyway, a lot of just crazy stuff. People just not just don't have no emotional control. I'm seeing more and more and more examples of it. Just self will run riot. People gotta learn the lessons, however they're gonna learn them. Be included. I just got to keep reminding myself with all the warnings that everybody's giving. It's just like, this is one of those times. Be careful while you're driving. You know, be careful. Be, just be careful. This is a, just it's a high alert caution time, you know. Don't be crazy. Don't be stupid. This kid at the park, Ma. Young kid. Young guy. I saw, last time I saw him, I think was I was getting pet food at the pet food store and I was leaving I saw him I said don't do nothing stupid and then I haven't seen him since right and then he got like he bought a van and somebody and this other guy was helping him get get it running yeah and evidently this kid dips in and out of different personalities in some capacities what the account is and whether it's related to the or to this incident or not it's really he, neither here nor there but i'm just saying that more and more people they're splitting right you see it in the media you hear about people in the media there's an actor gary Busey from years ago turned into the dirty old man so many of them are it and they do they drank and use so many drugs is that they're they're in their own world and they don't care, and he got like arrested for like a like 
sexual assault or something, and then the next day he was in a park with his pants down? I mean, it's just... It's just... Those, why are... Because they have money, they're, those people are... You know what I mean? It's... Things are just out of hand. Just completely out of hand. Anyway, this kid was going through the town square in this new van that he just got. Didn't, I guess, I don't know, doesn't know how to drive. Didn't know the potential of the motor in which he was driving. I ended up freaking bamming into it like another car. Like, just bad choices. Young! Bad, um, so many people. I mean, I made my bad choices... I, the consequences didn't start till, well, uh, I never did stuff like that. I didn't wreck other people's stuff. I wasn't, that wasn't my, I did wreck other people's stuff. Yep. Anyway. It's all part of... I hope the kid makes learns his, his from, from his mistake. You know it? Because I, I, if he had a license, I, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't think he has one anymore after that. So, it just... That's the thing is I see, I see how people behave in my local community. And then I talk to people where they have like a, a high volume of customers to see how they're acting that's how I get like how you know a collective energy of how or a, like a sum total of, of what the collective consciousness is going through and people are just revved up and people are revved up I gotta try harder to stay chill yep so I gotta work harder to be chill cause you just can't get caught up, man. You can't get caught up in other people's emotions and other people's storylines and other people's stuff. You just can't get caught up in it. Yeah. Now, if people are willing, wanting to change their lives and do things different, and act, I'm all about sharing my experience, strength, and hope on how to how to act completely different to change your life. I, I, I know how to do that. Uh... You got, but people, most people don't want to do the work these days, so they just, it's easier just get into the bottle or go down the pill or whatever their remedy is. Anyway. <sighs> I, I think these spiritual bypassers, though, you're going to, you're going to have to open your hearts a little bit more and, and be a little bit more willing to actually help people heal. Then sit there and, and talk about, you know, ignore how it's just, just ignore all the low vibes. You know, you got it. Some people, some of us are, have been in low vibes and we're trying real hard to get out. But, you know, people keep ignoring us because we ain't like them. So, whatever. Anyway, I think I've yammered on long enough. That's about all I got for now. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.